I'm Lucas from World of Music and today we are going to show you the freeze function of the vocoder from the STBC. This is the next episode of the series Focus on STBC. Okay, STBC consists of the string section and the vocoder, but the freeze function is something very special. This allows you to record a loop and play it back on the vocoder or play it in the other direction or freeze it completely and that's why it's named freeze. So to demonstrate that just call up an empty patch. For example I used C20 or whatever is free available on your STVC. We need the string sound so by default the sound is set to a solo. Let's put this to strings and about that setting should be okay. And add a bit of release. Okay, we're good. And now we can engage the vocoder. Okay, when I just use it, sounds like this. Now we can use the freeze function. First, some explanations. STVC doesn't really record the waveform of the sound of your voice or the noise that you put into the microphone, but it tracks the filter coefficients of the incoming audio signal. This allows the STVC to use that as a base to really mangle up your audio and to play it forward and backwards or freeze it completely in time. And to demonstrate that, we'll just use the freeze function right now. And I'm just going to count. So best is if you have a key pressed so you hear yourself and then keep the freeze button pressed as long as you're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. As you can see, STVC just keeps on looping what I just entered into the microphone. All the keys are tracking the audio simultaneously, so they always stay in sync with each other, and this is not free running, it's always globally synced. In this little window, you have the option to truncate your loop, so you can decide where it should start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 three, four. And there you also have the chance to save one of these loops to the internal memory of STVC, so it stays on after a reboot. Otherwise, just record a new loop. I'm going to demonstrate that to you. Just press the freeze so it goes out, and when you press it again, you can make another loop. And this time I'll just do some weird, weird noises. <laughs> Okay, on this loop I can show you how you can freeze a loop in time or play it backwards. This is done in the tweak matrix. You'll need to set the freeze speed to either zero or something very slow. And then you can use the mod wheel to change your position. And now when I turn the mod wheel, I can travel through the filter coefficients of the signal that we just recorded. And especially nice does it sound if you just have very little setting, something like 10 or so in free speed. And then you can make really, really weird evolving pads with this one. Yeah. 
let's just add a bit of reverb. Okay, I think this should give you an idea of how this freeze function works on the STVC. We really do recommend you to try this out yourself on your own STVC or one that's available from a dealer near you. In any case, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye.